Welcome back guys. This is officially my second video. Um, I wanted to come and check in and also document what's been going on for me these last couple of weeks. I know I said I was going to do a video a week, but it was just, it's been extremely hard. I um, got a lot, a lot of stuff going on. So yeah, just bear with me. So I guess let's catch up. I got approved for the surgery that is November 30th. And then from there, I've been trying to eat right trying to quit smoking just to let you guys know I am four four and a half weeks out nicotine free y'all understand it that, that has been hard the first week was the roughest but thank god I got through and my husband is also going through the process with me so he quit smoking as well so congratulations to me and the hubby for over a month nicotine free so other than us not ripping each other's head off because we were on the cigarette um i've been you know trying to eat right they haven't that hasn't been easy so i i tend to i tend to have snacked more when i quit smoking because i guess the I don't know. I'm going to put up something to my lips. I'm not sure. But I'm really, I really don't eat sweets. So I found myself snacking on candy with the kids and with the hubby or whatnot. Okay, so last Friday, I'm here. I work from home. I'm here at home um, working or whatever. And I get a phone call from my the doctor's nurse. And she asked that I get blood work and labs and stuff done. And I was like, no. She's like, well, you know you have an appointment today? And like, of course I do. So she was like, well, you got to have this stuff done before the appointment. If she called me, it was literally like 10 o'clock, 1030. Um, my appointment was scheduled for 2 o'clock to see the surgeon. So I literally had to stop everything I was doing. Go run, get labs and stuff done. And then just head over to the doctor's office well get there he put me on a two-week liquid diet so you know i still want this surgery and we talked about it and he was like you by the time this is over with you gonna you gonna hate me which i'm close to it but however um they provide let me see i got it here with me i don't know if y'all can there we go they provide this high protein meal replacement shake which is all cool and dandy so they had different options and i don't know what the hell my ass was thinking because i decided to go with can you see oh come on chicken flavor so I was thinking to myself like okay I can warm this up and it could taste like chicken broth y'all let me tell you how nasty don't don't do it I don't care what how they hype you up what reviews you read it is nasty so I had warmed up a couple of cups of water I mean ounces of water with my scoops follow the directions as they said to do and went to go drink it and it smells horrible so I'm like okay smell is not bad I mean the smell is bad let's just see what it tastes like when I tell y'all I instantly got nauseous and anybody that know me in real life know I hate feeling nauseous the even thinking about throwing up I just turned into a whole baby so I tried to get it down I think I maybe had a couple of sips left I don't know but I tried to get it down and it just wasn't working so I'm like okay this is not gonna work my husband was like hey Ashley uh how you doing and you're gonna eat again you're supposed to do it three times a day so you know lunchtime was coming around and I was just dreading it because I ain't want it. I was drinking my water or whatever and I was like this is not I already knew this was not gonna go good. 
So, I Googled. Okay, after I talked, let me back up a little bit. I talked to my nutritionist, and she told me, you know, after the surgery and I'm on my liquid diet, that I could do the Fair Life. For me to do Fair Life more so than the Premier Protein Shakes, because the Fair Life Shakes are, uh, what is it, whey isolate protein. So that way I know I'm getting all my protein in versus what the Premier, whatever brands say. So, I was like, okay, well, this chicken flavored <laughs> broth is not going to work. So, let me just compare the labels on the back and see what the difference is. So, I start comparing and it's only like a 10 calorie difference. I was getting more protein from the Fairlife Shake than I was from this. Um, I don't know, but then... I had already called the doctor's office and left a message with the nutritionist to um, give me a call back. So, you know, thank God I didn't like just run out to the store and go buy the Fair Life protein shakes because she called back and told me that was an absolute no and that the doctor wouldn't approve of it because he knows that this shake in particular, this brand, the Bariatric Advantage, would knock off some pounds and not only that, but to shrink my liver because if my liver is, I guess, still expanded, then it would be extremely hard for him to do the surgery. So now I'm damn near crying on the phone with the lady telling me like, I cannot drink this. So I end up, long story short, I just had to go back and get another one and I end up getting a chocolate one. My daughter wanted me to get the vanilla cause I'm not really a chocolate person, but you know, powder mixed with vanilla really, do, I don't know. For some reason, it still has a, a weird taste to me. So, I ended up getting the chocolate. Hopefully, it would mask. And it did. Um, I'm not really a chocolate girl, but, I mean, it's way better than that damn chicken. So, let me tell you. Don't get it. Whatever flavors, I can't recommend anything but chocolate. They have strawberry. The lady also said they had pumpkin spice, which I don't do anything pumpkin or spice. Spices, but not spice. Um, so got that. Along with that, I have my multivitamins. They pretty much like told me to get everything because I'm not going to see them again until surgery day so I have my celebrate celebrate multivitamin and the flavor I got is pineapple strawberry I'm hoping it's good and I also got my calcium supplements which is berries and cream to be one one tablet I take four times a day so I'm supposed to split it up cut it up in fours also, they gave me, I guess this is a generic version of the surgical scrub. So, I'm supposed to bathe the night before in this and then wake up in the morning and scrub with this as well before surgery day. Well, the day of surgery. A couple of other things that I got. I got this on my own. Um, I can leave the link down below. Once I'm done, but it is a peel crusher. I don't know how this is going to work for me taking pills and being nauseated or whatever. So I got this so I can put it in my pudding, maybe in a, in a shake. Then I also got... A peel splitter so to split the peels in half I told you that I had to break my stuff up into fourths so that's for that I'm horrible at cutting peels in half then I got this lovely little thing from Amazon it is my peel holder so 
it's one for seven days i mean for each day of the week and then they can pop out so like you know when covid and stuff is over with i could just take my day's worth and throw it in the purse so they have a side for daytime and then nighttime so hopefully all my stuff can fit in there we're gonna pray that it does because it looks a little a little small right now but yeah i got this on amazon i got all this on amazon except for the multivitamins and the shakes because i got that from my doctor's office um i go in on the 25th to get my COVID test and after that i'm gonna sit home and just wait it out until the 30th. So they already sent me home with my prescriptions for, you know, after the surgery. I have liquid pain medicine. Um, yeah, I'm only supposed to take like 10 milliliters every four hours is needed for pain. Also have the good old Zofrin for na nausea, nausea, and then I have, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Scoopo, Scoop, Scooplamine, and I take this the morning of surgery. Uh, three hours prior, well, prior and it's not take I actually supposed to put it on the back of my ear it's a patch that's going to help with nausea so I'm kind of excited about that because your girl I told y'all I don't like I don't like that feeling so um yeah I have that stuff and then also y'all don't think I'm crazy but I bought me some cute hospital socks with the grip on the bottom. I don't like the other ones. For, for me, they're kind of like itchy. But I found these on Amazon. But, you know, soon, as soon as you're out of surgery, they want you to get up and move around and start walking. So, I know I'm going to be, you know, shucking and jiving. But these are actually called like yoga socks. I, you know, I'm not a yoga girl. But, um, they have really, really, really good grip on the bottom and they have a little let's see yeah so they're they're comfy and they're kind of cute stylish so i'm taking it and then i also bought a binder because i've been reading in the social media groups that i'm in that um it's good to have a binder it helps with soreness after surgery i guess where your incisions are so i purchased that as well so that um i can try to be as comfortable as i can but i am truly excited and um i don't know if i'm going to be able to post before again before my surgery because you know thanksgiving is coming around Y'all pray for me because, you know, I still got to cook for the family and still be happy, thankful, happy and thankful <laughs> while I'm drinking my shakes and hydrating with my water. So um, if not, then I would definitely try to get video or content or something in while i'm in the hospital um it kind of sucks because i'm gonna be there by myself pretty much my husband is gonna take me and literally drop me off because of covid they're not letting anyone else in um so i know i'm gonna be a little out of it then being on pain meds is gonna keep me pretty much knocked out so that kind of sucks because i was counting on my husband to be there to kind of get some of that stuff maybe me walking you know waving at the camera but it's gonna just be me by myself and hopefully if i got a cool nurse you know she might she might take a picture too but 
I know for sure that I'll be back with content after the fact. And y'all pray for me and I will keep you updated. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy early Thanksgiving. Count your blessings. Stay safe. And wash your hands. Bye, y'all.